traditional parties in Uganda are disintegrating. Yeah, but do you know why they are disintegrating? What is the problem? They are disintegrating because the government is using the parameter of the Public Order Act to buy them off in darkness. And in, in, the, in the end, they will buy, they will buy, their support goes on perishing. Once the followers know that our party leaders are being bought, what else do you expect? I'm arguing that because of the, the poor platform for the political parties to reach the masses, many of those old parties you are talking about are dying. And one of the reasons why they should not die is that if we go strong over the front we have initiated, we would like to openly reject the presence of the Public Order Act because it suffocates the, the political party activities and it is unconstitutional. Let us look at this, Honorable. We see parties that come up and they become strong. I have told you, have you, you been listening to me? Then, yes, I have, but we saw, give me reason why, because of the Public Order Management Act and actions by government, we see traditional parties going down and new ones coming up. The FDC emerged around 2005, 2006 and it became a vibrant party. Up to now, they have had at least a presidential candidate all the time and some good number of M M MPs. We see the NUP is now vibrant with the biggest number of MPs yeah, they on the opposition they side. They are depreciating on two grounds. Mm. One is they lack public display in terms of public advocacy. Two, many of them are bought off by the government agents. Because of, because of the poor scene of exposition. How come the new parties are not That's why I have already replied. Because these are new. The old parties have not had time to articulate their objectives before the public. The population is growing from time to time. People were used to our politics in the 1980s, in the 1990s. Many young people who have been born in the course of this regime need to be updated in terms of philosophy of what we stand for as political parties. Once the atmosphere is open for us to visit various sectors in Uganda, the situation will change because many people like to know what the Conservative Party stands for that makes it different from other political parties. And that exposition is not common knowledge among the people. If we have seen party presidents failing to ensure democracy and stability within their parties, can they really have the moral authority to promise it to us, the whole of the country? Yes. The first key of democracy or democratic principle is the government of Uganda now. For example, the agony it has subjected uh, to the constitution of Uganda, which is supposed to be guiding us, is good enough to explain to you that we have started this story very miserably, very badly. As we speak now, the constitution of Uganda has been butchered to the extent where the parameter of two-term limit that would have directed this country to a change of government has been muddled. What about the age limit benchmark, which is supposed also to guarantee the transfer of power from one leader to the other? It has been muddled up. What about the elections, general elections? Can anybody be proud of elections going on now? When we have been in the Supreme Court in the past elections on three consecutive occasions with the judges saying, yes, the vote rigging has been massive, but it did not subscribe to the substantial figures articulated in the Presidential Elections Act. That kind of nonsense is absurd. You are hiding away from the facts about the weaknesses from within your group as the opposition. I am saying that those weaknesses you are viewing are caused by the bad administrative atmosphere enshrined in Weaknesses like failure to stick to party ideologies and keep there. How come we have politicians like you that have been CP since we are in primary school up to now? Haven't you seen new parties yourself? Yes, I have seen them, yes. but I have remained intact. What is so intact. different between you and other politicians? I am persuading others to behave like John Ken Lukyams, because it have, does not pay. How come the not, government weaknesses have not affected you as a person to leave your party? 
Yet because I am myself, I love my party. You cannot buy me as if you are buying what, tomatoes. Does that justify the running around of politicians from one party to the other every election? Those are individual weaknesses and I condemn them very, very strongly. Do you know we have politicians that have been in three parties every election they have a different party? Yeah, I know. <laughs> and it is absurd. I hope you are not mistaking some of them joining uh, the France or inter-party no, inter agencies. You are talking about joining real political parties. Yes, yes I know that. Especially this time around 2021, we saw a big exodus from the Democratic Party closing to, uh, crossing to the National Unity Platform. Yes, and now, right now we have a different picture. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? No, no, no. no. You know what I'm saying? They are not there also. <laughs> are they still there? All of them still in that party? It was because of the atmosphere. The atmosphere is also bad enough to create that situation. What does that mean? What kind of picture does that give about our politicians when it comes to the way they, when it comes to respect for multipartism? The political parties on the opposition should stick to their respective parties. Even in situations of poverty, you are not going to move from one party to the other because of money. You are killing the spirit 